Hello everybody, this is Yola at Natural Health Secrets. We will talk about new health topics and share simple health solutions with you every week. In the last episode, we shared natural remedies and diet recommendations for asthma. In this episode, we will elaborate what is COPD and emotional causes of lung diseases. If you have any questions or thoughts on COPD, leave your comment below. We will answer your questions in the following episodes. Hello everybody. Today we will talk about home remedies for lung diseases or as we say professionally, home remedies for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. But let us be grounded and I would like you to remember a saying thousand years old and people who see reality kept repeating. What you eat, you become. What you see, you become. What you think, or feel you become. It was a mystical expression for centuries and not much attention was given by scientists. However, today we understand and became able to measure basic quantum reality principles. It is a scientific fact. Quality of food that we eat creates your physical structure and influences behavior, thinking and emotion. So that's what it means you become. You get good food, you get good behavior, feelings and emotions. And opposite too. Whatever is your repeated perception, like if you watch a lot of movies that have destructive the environment you observe if it is full of violence poverty injustice it gets registered and it actually influences structuring of your physical brain and of course later it influences your behavior your actions thinking emotions your life and the third, whatever is in your mind most of the time, like news you read, problems you think about, emotions you carry repeatedly, everything that stays long and repeatedly in your mind influences its structure. It is becoming physical structure of your nervous system and influences your behavior, actions, thinking, and emotions, of course. So now, let us see from where lung diseases are coming. How many people do you know that feel depressed often, are grieving some loss in their life, and feel not worthy of living fully? People who are afraid and not ready to accept and enjoy life as it is. This kind of emotions. Those people have high probability to have some of pulmonary or lung diseases, grouped as CODP. It is good to understand where it starts and how. In previous episodes, I have been explaining how the thoughts and emotions are physical, electrochemical events in our physiology. Each emotion has its frequency spectrum attached to it and it has certain influence on total functioning of our system. Let's go through the facts first. COPD is one of the deadliest lung diseases which interferes with breathing. The third leading cause of death in the United States. This respiratory disease 
is characterized by abnormal inflammatory response in the lungs and restricted airflow, which both results in difficulty doing the most vital thing in the life, breathe. More than 11 million people in the US have already been diagnosed with COPD, but an estimated 24 million may have the disease without realizing it. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease includes chronic bronchitis, emphysema, bronchiectasis, and chronic airway obstruction. Typically, the first symptoms of emphysema occur in heavy smokers in their mid-50s. People with chronic asthma can get airway obstruction that makes them more likely to develop COPD. Prevalence decreases as income increases from 9.9% among those making less than 25,000 a year to 2.8% among those making more than 75,000 per year. That's resulting from COPD are higher in women than in men. Individuals who are divorced, widowed or separated are prone to the disease. Individuals who are unemployed, retired or unable to work too. 36.4% of those reporting COPD were former smokers. 38.7% of those reporting COPD continued to smoke. 43.7% of those reporting COPD had a history of asthma. Approximately 40% of those with COPD experience high levels of depression and anxiety, making it more difficult to comply with treatment and quit smoking. These diseases are all commonly characterized by irreversible airflow limitation. It has no cure, but regular treatments can slow down the disease's progress. In the next episode, we will explain the risk factors, root causes and symptoms of four stages of COPD. If you would like to understand COPD, don't miss this episode. If you think this content is helpful to you, share with your family and friends. You are welcome to leave any suggestion for our program. And if you have a particular interest in other health issues, leave a message or email. We will include answers in related future recordings.